What is going on guys, this is your boy Astrum Sensei and welcome back to my basic melee combat tutorial series for Unreal Engine 5. So in this video we are going to be taking a look at hit reaction because in the previous one we did hit detection so we detected the enemies, we destroyed them but it is without any hit reaction animations. So in part 3 we are going to be taking a look at how to do hit reactions and it's going to be very simple so yeah let's just go and do that. But first, if you want full access to the entire series without ads, as well as early access to other series, such as my 3D platformer, then please go ahead and check out my Patreon. You can get it for either $5 or $10, depending on what's available. So let us get started by opening our player character and remembering what we did last time. You can see um, we sphere trace, check for the character, and then we destroy them. Oh, we didn't actually set up health. That was, that's okay though, no problem with that. So let's just remove the destroy actor and place it, uh, let, let's just not connect it to anything. And Right now, we have hit detect, when we detect the enemy, we cast to the enemy, but we don't have anything to do. So I'm going to make it, since we for the enemy we're using the same character blueprint as the player right now, so we cannot really make a function for that because hit reaction requires you to play a montage, it has to be a custom event. So I'm just going to go to the event graph and then create a brand new custom event over here and this custom event. I'm going to call it hit react and if you want to be more organized you can just um, do the hit detect thing as a custom event as well instead of a function it doesn't really matter but anyway hit react we can just um, play montage no not this one just play montage without anim yeah this one and then the skeletal mesh, we are just going to get the mesh and put it over here. Montage to play, we're going to type random array item. Or no, not a random array item. We're going to type select. And the index is going to be random integer in range. And we have uh, a few options to select from. So how many animations do we have? Let's just go to the ARPG Warrior folder or whatever animations you have and search for hit. So we have one, two, three, four, and five. And those are all for the Unreal Engine 4 mannequins. So I'm just gonna right click on all of them selected, duplicate and retarget animation, same as we did in the first two videos. And then, um, UE4 Manny to UE5 Manny and it's going to be in the game folder so we can organize that later. There we go. So I'm just going to select all of those and create anim montage and now we have five montages for those. So now what we're going to do is we are going to put all of them as options in the select node. So just type for, just search for hit, hit two and add a pin. Hit three, add a pin, hit four, add a pin, hit five. And you can see we have one, two, three, four, five animations, but one is actually zero. So the minimum for the random integer is zero and the maximum is four. Although we have five animations, zero counts as one. So yeah, the maximum is going to be four. And now what we're going to do next is we're going to go to hit detect and when you detect the enemy you cast to the character blueprint of the enemy character and then you search for hit react and then compile. Now we can actually give it a try and see how that turns out. You can see that it works really well. So yeah, that's perfect. Now we just need to turn off the debug type thing, set it to none, like this, I did it off screen accidentally, and then go here, attack the enemy, and you can see that it plays a random hit reaction animation, which is perfect. Now with that created, what we're going to do is we're going to make a health system so that we can uh, determine whether the character should react or die. So as a variable, we're just going to add a new one and I'm going to call it health 
Of course, you'd be more organized with the way you're making your game because this is just a preview project. So, you know, all of the variable names, they have to be different. Uh, anyway, um, the health, the default is going to be 100. And then we're going to check. Oh, yeah. So you can either do this two ways. You can either uh, check the health if it's zero or not before you react so instead of the hit reaction animation it plays the death animation but the way i like to do it is i like to do it after the hit reaction animation so after we hit react the character we're gonna get health so health we're gonna get or no we're just gonna check if it's less than or equal to zero and then we're gonna branch and I'm gonna put this on completed and on interrupted and not really connected to this so we're gonna check if it's less than or equal to zero and if it is we can just destroy actor and if you compile and give it a try. Oh wait, we for we actually forgot to re re decrease the health. So um, yeah, we're just gonna um, from this one. So it's not really like this. This one happens as soon as the animation montage begins playing. So with this one, we're gonna subtract and get the health. So the health is gonna be the health minus. 50 for example or let's just keep it 25 so that it takes less skills uh more hits to kill them and then grab the variable set health and connect it like this so this is going to decrease 25 from the health and set it as the health so we do that and then we compile hit play and then whoops he dies the first time okay there has to be a mess up somewhere so we actually want to print string also there we go and connect this one over there so that we can see how much health the character has now if we hit play do that one more time you can see that it detects the hit many more times and not really once so that's that's what what's broken with it so the way we do this is we create a variable called getting hit and this variable is going to be a boolean we check if we are getting hit and if we are not then we do this and if we are we don't do anything so if we are not we also want to set getting hit to be true And to set it back to false, we can put it over here. So uncompleted or interrupted, getting hit is going to be set back to false. Or what you can do if you want it to be like, if you want to be able to damage the enemy again sooner, you can drag out of this one, make a delay, and then getting hit will be set to false. So I think that I'm fine with this though, because like the animations are fast enough so if we hit play and try it one more time you can see that you cannot really hit the character more than once while they are playing the animation so what i would do with that is i would actually make the animation play faster because i feel like it's a bit too slow so if you make the play rate two and then hit play do it like this you can see it's fast and you can like hit it one again or you could just do the solution i talked about so if we make it 1.5 and then um we can, we can just disconnect this and once as soon as the play montage happens what we're gonna do is we're gonna well first of all we're gonna decrease the health and then we are gonna make a short delay of let's just make it a retriggerable delay just in case and this delay is going to be 0 0.5 seconds and after that we set getting it to be false so if we give it a try and play 
you can see it gets hit it gets hit only once but you can still like damage the enemy as soon as like 0.5 seconds pass so that's perfect and everything but the hit like the destroy actor thing is not really a good idea because um, you need to play a death animation so that's what we are going to be focusing on in the next video I really hope you guys enjoyed this and that it was useful and I hope that you had fun learning this stuff special thanks to my precious patrons again and I'll see you in the next video take care have a great day and bye